Hello, Pokemon players. Uh, welcome to another episode of Discount Pokemon Dex. Uh, before I start, I just wanted to give a shout out to all my viewers. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, you know, a lot of you have uh, contacted me either through the game or outside. Uh, I've gotten uh, people offering me uh, trades in my favor, uh, cards, so I can keep the channel going. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, the best way you can help out uh, is just spread the word. So. You know, the more people we get uh, looking at this and commenting and building the community and the more ideas we get and can pass around to each other, I think it benefits us all. So uh, today you can see I'm going to do a uh, put your money where your mouth is where I take one of my budget debts and play a tournament. Um, and let's see if we can get into this one quick. That would be great. Where's my deck? Did I get it? Yes. All right. So... I'll t try to talk while I'm playing, but usually that's not a uh, good thing. Um, <laughs> it doesn't work out well for me. I will be giving away packs of cards, Sun and Moon, uh, as I go along, if I can fit that in. I've got a whole bunch of things I want to talk about. But um, So I'm doing Put Your Money Your Mouth Is with Passimian Mew. Um, this was one of my uh, favorite decks from the new Sun and Moon. I think it's one of my favorite budget decks overall. Uh, very strong deck, in my opinion. Uh, especially for budget, uh, pound for pound or pack for pack, this this deck is is up there. So I'm very pleased with how this deck came out, and how it plays, um, and I've gotten people. At, oh, excuse me, I hit the uh, microphone there. I've gotten people asking me, "Is this deck tournament worthy? How good is this deck?" Well, uh, I couldn't test it out in a tournament before because uh, when I first released it, because it was not tournament legal at the time. But now Sun and Moon cards are tournament legal, so looking forward to this uh, and to answer that question. Uh, how good is this deck? Is it tournament worthy? Uh, this is a, I'm filming this on a Saturday morning, so uh, I'm not exactly sure how strong the competition is. I know there's a lot of people on on a Saturday morning. Uh, I just think that it uh, tends to skew towards uh, younger kids. So um, maybe we'll have some easy matchups. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, Reg Ice there. All right. So we're going to try to get ideas to get as many Passimians uh, out as possible. And the Mew as well. We need a double colorless energy badly. You know, I probably shouldn't have played that Bursting Balloon because Reg Ice isn't really going to attack me on the first turn. So again, uh, more chatty, less thinky. Uh, I'm not going to play Faded Town because this was a water and lightning deck so most likely he's gonna get a rough seas out there alright so I have a double colorless I'm not gonna play that yet I do have an enhanced hammer to do that to my opponent he's not happy I got rid of his extra cards sorry but that's how the cookie crumbles uh, let me see my hand hmm I'm gonna go with the N just so I can choose between N and Sean. I already have one enhanced hammer. He's not going to get two per next turn, and I'm probably going to reshuffle again. I'm going to put the energy... Well, he might knock that energy out. So I'm going to play a little conservative here, or risky, depending on how you look at it. Sometimes you don't place an energy down. He can end my hand. I can have a trouble getting this energy back. Oh, no. Well, I've got to save these for Mr. Jolteon. Whoa. That is going to be hard. Wow, I didn't uh, consider that. Well, there you go. So Regice Jolteon definitely wants to make it difficult for me to attack. And it's going to be. I'm going to have to try to knock this guy out. And I'm going to need these enhanced hammers to do it. All right, so we will play the energy. Um, I'm going to go with N. I don't care if I give my opponent a couple extra cards at this point. I want to get my setup going. All right, a nest ball here. Probably another Passimian. They'll give me 100 attack on this guy. Uh, I do want to get those. Ooh, so one is prized. All right, so we're in a little bit of a tough jam here. Wow. Man, my computer just froze for a second. This Jolteon is going to be a problem. I have to get a Lysander and knock him out if I can. Um, before he gets energy on him. Yeah, all, a lot of these cards are going to be problematic if I don't get this other Passimian out. Because really, I'm only doing 70 damage, 100 if the Mew comes up. 
as the active. I'm um, thinking of putting the energy on Mew next. Maybe even play Sycamore. Although I'd like to keep this V Seeker. So I might even play random receiver to get an N or or just play the Shauna. Well the random receiver could give me Lysander, so I think that's what the uh plan is. So there's rough seas. And I definitely have to get rid of that rough seas before killing off trying to kill off this Jolteon. I can put an energy on this Mew, retreat this Passimian and knock him out. If he's not paralyzed, which he's not. Alright, so there's 80 damage. I can knock him out. I'm gonna go for it, cause I wanna well I wanna knock this guy out. This is his only Pokemon right now. So even though energy is precious for me, I'm feeling like one, I wanna try to find Let's play I'm gonna play Shauna now. I'm gonna save this random receiver in the V Seeker. See if I can get a town map. No, I was hoping to get a town map. Another nest ball won't do me any good, but that might help. Um, I might as well play this nest ball and get it out of my hand. Uh, oh no, I have another Mew, I think, right? Is another Mew in here? Okay, that's good. All right. So we're going to knock out his Reg Ice. I hope, if I calculate it correctly, yes, 100 damage. Come on, Passimian. Again, my antivirus, overly zealous, telling me I need to reboot. All right, so this is the guy that scares me the most. And I have to do everything I can to kill him. Obviously, my opponent's going to save him because he sees that as his path to victory. Uh, I would love to get rid of his stadium. I'd love to get a Lysander for this Jolteon. Alright, this that's good. I, I want to see this. I want to see energy going to this guy, not him. Red card? That almost helps me out. I don't really see the need to play that. I had four cards in my hand. Alright, we're going to be... If I could get a town map, that would be really helpful. Well, I can get rid of his stadium now. No need to use special charge or revive yet. I still have an N in my hand. I can play that, but I'd rather not. I know he's got water energy in his hand. All right. I don't have the Lysander here. Nope. Let's see. Can we get it? Nope, but we have the town map, which is good. Might be a Lysander in here, too. So the town map will give us a Passimian once we knock out one of his Pokemon. Yep, there's a Passimian. No Lysander. So it's in my deck somewhere. I could play this end now, and I will because it's not such a bad idea. I don't think I need this Bursting Balloon. I'm going to save those for Jolteon. Again, he's got to attack for that uh, benefit to go through. Teammates, energy, perfect. So... Feeling pretty good. I'm a little nervous about this guy, but as long as I can knock him out, I think I'm okay. Although, did I give my opponent a whole fresh hand? Girados, Mega Girados. Okay, so we have a little of a mishmash deck. It looks like by my opponent, just water and lightning. I can't believe he's not powering up this Jolteon. The only card that scares me. He can't attack with Raikou yet. Luxray is still another one. Oh! Is that... That's like a present. Wow. I'm going to get rid of this card. I don't see how my opponent's going to power him up in one turn. Uh, I'm going to hold on to the double colorless just in case. So 100 damage to Jolteon. One more and I knock him out and I will feel much better about this. Yeah, I don't I don't understand these at all. Oh, what's going on here? Luxray, flip a coin. Okay. So he'll knock out the Mew. I can revive him back on my bench. This is okay. 
I'm okay with this. I do need to start getting this energy back in my deck. Excuse me. I'll probably play a teammates here and recycle my energy. I have a revive in my hand. I do recycle my energy, and you know what? Let's put a bursting balloon on him. I could put the Lysander in my hand. And you know what? We're going to do that. So a little risky here. I probably should have definitely put the energy in my hand, but I can knock him out. Maybe, can I knock him out with... He'll do 70 damage. Yeah, I can knock him out with the Passimian, so... Uh, I just need to double color this, so maybe not the best idea, but let's see how this works out. I can always uh, Lysander this Raikou, and then Lysander will be in here. Oh, what was that? Ah. Maybe I did not play this as well as I thought. Hmm. Double colorless? Too much to ask for. Okay. So I can Lysander this Raikou. You know, I'm going to Lysander the Girados. And then it's in my deck here. Playing a little risky here. A little bit risky. This is not optimal play. I should have just grabbed the double colorless. Um, I have to figure out a way to get rid of this Luxray, but I'm more concerned. I guess I'm paying attention to the Jolteon too much. Still no one. Now it's raining Lysanders. All right, all right. What do I want, Shauna or N? He's got one card, so I'm going with Shauna here. I don't want to get rid of uh, these other cards. I may need them. So hopefully you get an energy here. Yes, all right. Energy. And we'll put a Mew back on our bench. And let's do a little damage here. And next turn, I think Jolteon's going down. So that'll give me two prizes. Um, I'll take the Revive and the Passimian. Uh, those seem to be the two best options. I can always call teammates back. Oh, sugar. All right. Wow, I'm playing this almost to defeat here. No energy. What does this give me? Ugh. Do I stall some more? He's only got two cards. Let me think. I can stall. Uh, I can play Sycamore, get an energy. Still not going to be enough to knock him out. If he gets a switch, I'm kind of screwed. He's got three left. Prizes. Oh, let's not be so happy yet. All right. I still have Puzzle of Times I can use too. Oh, well, that. <laughs> no, don't don't be smug during your games with the happy face. All right, he's putting energy back in his hand. I've got not a not lot of time to get rid of one of these guys. I'm going to go for Jolteon if I can. If I need that double colorless though, so not sure what to do here. Probably going to grab another Shauna with this V Seeker. Hmm. And hopefully get something good. You know, he's got four cards. Let's play N and drop him to three. All that energy he put in his hand. Maybe he won't get it all back. I need a revive. Oh, how many? Two in there. Good. All right. This is working now. I do need to get another Mew going. That should be helpful. Let's play this. 
As, as much as I want to get rid of his stadiums. Let's see if we can knock this guy out. So if he doesn't get rid of the stadium by this turn, this Pokemon will be knocked out. And I'll feel a little tiny bit better. No. As long as he doesn't get a stadium. Boy, this Luxray is causing me lots of difficulty here. Hmm. Interesting. Tierno. Well, I'll probably play an N after this. No stadium, please. All right. So not playing that well here. My opponent is getting me good with this Luxray. Uh, we'll take one, two. But maybe I can rally back here. We'll put a Mew back. And I'm going to play N again. I want to play some Hand Kung Fu on my opponent. Or should I just go with Sycamore? No, I've got to play Sycamore here. I need the energy. If I can knock this guy out, he's got nothing else left. There we go. Lots of energy. Puzzle of Times. Uh, another Revive. I'm going to save that for the Passimian. Although I have the Puzzle of Time, but... Yeah, I should have saved that for the Passimian because he's only got two prizes left. All right, here we go. Weakness 200. Wow, I didn't even think about that. So, again, talking and not thinking. Uh, you know, we're going to give a pack away for weakness <laughs> as the secret phrase. So, as always, be the first one to comment on the YouTube video with the secret phrase. For this one, it's weakness. Friend me in the game, send me a trade offer, and I'll send you a pack of Sun and Moon cards. All right, Jolteon here. The card I was worried about from the get-go. All right. Hmm, interesting. Uh, we will play a double colorless on him. And just attack. There's not much to do here. I'm down to eight cards. So one of the people uh, who commented on my video, there's weakness for Jolteon. Wow, I didn't even figure it. Um, I'll talk about that when I get back. So we gave away a pack of cards. We won game one. Tournament's going to begin right away, so I'm not even going to stop. Let's go into number two. So not the strongest deck we faced in uh, round one. A little bit of a mishmash. Not a central focus other than good lightning cards, good water cards. Uh, we might get a better challenge here. But one of, the, my, one of the people that commented on my decks is they deck out a lot. Uh, the trick is, I think the trick is, not to uh, go too crazy with getting rid of cards. At the end, if you don't need to draw cards, don't do not do it. Um, so, you, just because you have an end in your hand doesn't mean you have to play it. You, get, you play these cards to give you better cards in your hand to make your setup, but once you have that, uh-oh. You should be okay. Is this Grey Ninja? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it's too early in the morning for Grey Ninja for me. Oh, boy. But this is good. I'm getting some extra cards. I go first, so um, I think this deck does well against Grey Ninja. Um, I mean, it should be able to muster up enough damage to knock out the Baby Frog. Let's see if he's got a Talon Flame there. That could be annoying. Uh, no balls, so I need my Repeat Balls. There's a Talon Flame. It is annoying. I don't get to attack first. Uh, we'll go with Acro Bike here. My stadium's only going to be used for defensive purposes. I'm going to guess there's no energy denial in this. Ooh. No, we're going to go with the... Re Ooh, then the Mew goes in. Uh, you know, I'm probably going to play... You know what? I'm going to take the Repeat Ball because I can revive this Mew right now. Uh, and I'll play an end when I get a chance. Maybe not this turn, but I should play. I should save the end for the next turn because my opponent's going to put two cards in his hand. So uh, we'll revive that Mew. Why not? So I mean, one of the things I like about this deck is it sets up pretty well. And I'm going to put this energy in my hand in case he ends me. 
and I'm good for now. And I'm going to play that end. The reason why I'm playing that save in the end, I'm going to play it for after he uses Arrow Blitz, and he puts two cards in his hand, and that way he doesn't get them in his hand. All right, well, I'm going to get end here. But basically, anytime he plays Arrow Blitz, unless he's got very few cards, I'm almost certainly going to play N and get those cards out of his hand. So, ooh, two puzzle of time, although a little early in the game for that. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to get a Bursting Balloon on this Pissimian. We're going to attack. Unless I get a double colorless, I could put the Mew up. No, we're just going to play straight N. Look at that. It's so many cards there. Two of them he handpicked, so... I'm not going to give that to my opponent. Oh, look at that. This is very nice indeed. The only thing I really have to be concerned about, I, I've got to get these guys before. I don't need the nest ball, so we'll save Bursting Balloon for the next turn. I think he's got resistance against, yep. But 80 is still good, a fair amount of damage. It'll knock him out in the next turn unless he does something. Hopefully he does not. I mean, the bane of this deck would be Parallel City, I guess. And you don't really see that in Frogadier decks. So let's see what he does. Is he going to Water Duplicate and Retreat? I'll knock out. I'll one-shot this Frogadier. So unless he can Wally him up. So it should be interesting. I'm, I'm guessing he's going to do Talon Flame again. I'll put my Bursting Balloon on the Passimian again. I'll play N. Actually, he can't. He'll knock his guy out. So he might as well retreat. He's going to knock. That's, that's pointless if he attacks. Because he's getting 60 damage from this. So I think a little bit of a misplay, right? He gets the two cards, but his Bursting Balloon knocks him out. I'm going to end those cards away. I'm going to knock out this Frogadier. And this was a quick round two. Oh, this is so sweet. Oh, <laughs> I don't even have to play N, but I'm going to play it anyway. Oh, this is so sweet. Oh, I have to save. All right, I'm giving a pack away. Secret phrase, savor the victory. Oh, that, that, that N is just so I could savor the victory. There's nothing to do. This game's over, right? Please tell me it's over. Yes. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in such a good mood. You know what? I'm going to give another pack away for the phrase, such a good mood. Because uh, that was awesome. All right, we're going to, I'm going to sit around and wait to the next round. Telling me zero time, but I don't think that's true. And uh, you will probably see it instantly. Maybe after a short break. Welcome back to the final round. Ooh. Am I going to see Vile Plume? That would hurt this deck for sure. For sure, for sure. If this is a Vile Plume GX deck, Decide UI or Laurentis. But let's see. I'm going to say yes because uh, I don't want to get turn one locked out. So I did win all coin, all three coin flips, which is good. Obviously gives me a little advantage, I think. I think going first is extremely helpful. Right, I've got an end here. I've got a random receiver. Be nice if there's Faded Town also affected GX. And one of the things I was saying in that video, um, yeah. Yeah, this is going to be tough because I can't revive my guys without items. So we may have to kill off this guy at any opportunity. I probably should have put a Mew down at some point, but that's okay. Uh, I'm going to play N. I need to get an energy in my hand or something. Town map's okay. Nest ball's okay. I mean, give my opponent one extra card. All right. It'd be nice if there were energy in there that I know where it is. So there's the Mew. Again, this deck sets up really well. I don't have any energy, but if I get item locked anyway, then Sycamore is going to be played. So, uh, And he can potentially, depending on which build he has, snipe this Mew off the bench. So, My problem is my Pokemon getting knocked out. And let's see. This is going to come down to setup. If my opponent can set this up quickly, turn one, I may be in trouble. 
So, um, but yeah, just to just to answer some of the questions before this deck, you know, does get low on cards, but the trick is obviously at the end, save your ends, um, don't play sycamores. Uh, you do get low on cards, but you don't have to always play. As you saw that last game, I was down to eight cards, but there's really you really should only have to play with what you have, so you have to be careful. There's gloom. Uh oh, we are one card away from item lock. We are none cards away from item lock after this ultra ball. No, maybe not. Maybe or maybe he has it in his hand. So let's see what my opponent's doing here. Are we going to be in item lock? Does he have it? He's got it. Yep. So we are in item lock. <laughs> no balls, no revives, no puzzle of time. We must kill off Vile Plume. But he's got no floatstone on it, so there's there's something for us. So a Lysander would be awesome. It is awesome. Uh, you know, some energy would have been uh, nice as well. Oh, man. So next is going to be N. So I've got to hold on to this Lysander. I, 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 yeah, I can't, I can't lose the Lysander because I can't VC come back. So, yeah, this is a good setup. This is a good deck to have. This is a good setup. This, this will be a problem again. There were some anti GX cards. Oh, that's nice. My opponent doesn't have anything he needs either. So, I get a fresh hand. Hopefully, get some energy. Got one. That's good. Can't play this. Can't play a lot of the cards I want to play, but. question is do I sycamore this all the way and I think the answer is yes because I need another double colorless <sighs> let's at least get rid of his stadium mmm this is this is wow I can't even play the wow this could be the quickest game this could be a huge loss this item lock because I can't even play random receiver to get a supporter so unless somehow I draw a Lysander or an N or a Shauna or even a Sycamore, that is interesting because he could have knocked this guy out. I don't understand that. He kind of just saved me. He just saved one Pokemon. I can't even play a Bursting Balloon. Can't play any. This is amazing. I have... Eight cards in my hand, and I can't play anything. We'll make that the next secret phrase. Can't play anything. <laughs> oh, my. Item lock. All right, we could put Mew as our active. We cannot get him back without killing off Vile Plume. Wow, this is, this is harsh. Nine cards of nothing. All right, so what do you play with the Skyla with item lock? You going for an N? Really? You're going to give me a new hand? I'll retreat back to this Mew. Obviously try to conserve. Nothing. I, I'm, I'd be surprised if he plays the N at this point. Oh, wow, what a gift. What a gift to me. Look at that. Although I could get all these cards right back. I mean, there's so many of these here. Well, there's the energy. And there's a Sycamore N. I don't want to sycamore everything away because I, I have hope that I'll eventually kill off this vile plume. So, I need a double colorless and a Lysander right now. Man, brutal, and they're not even in here, the double colorless. So I'm just not getting them. So this will do 70 damage. So I'm one more shot away from knocking this guy out, which would be nice. I just need another double colorless on this Mew, and then. 
All right, are we going to see a GX attack here? Sycamore. I mean, he doesn't really have anything powered up past this guy, so. Oh, that hurts, the healing. So no, I was not that close. All right, folks, sorry about that. Quick emergency. All right, so we do have this. I think we're going down here. But let's take this guy down with us. All right, so sorry about that little break. Uh, so he'll knock out this Mew, and then this Pissimia will knock out his Lorantis. But there's another one here. I'm kind of stuck here. And again, no draw power. All these item cards muted. <coughs> and I can't keep sycamoring them away because my hopes are to get this vile plume out <laughs> to kill him and then I can actually play some of them which I will need. Ah, oh, This game is over. Yep. So good play by my opponent using Lorantis's flower sapile, excuse me, <coughs> solar blade to heal him. Keep it out of reach of my Pokemon. I am going down here in spectacular fashion. And uh, so, I mean, the answer to the question, is this deck good enough to play tournaments? Absolutely. Um, you know, you're not going to win every deck, uh, every game against every opponent. Good game by my opponent. Very good deck. Uh, he played it well. He got the Solar Blade, healed his Pokemon, got Vile Plume out on turn one. And that was basically it. So thanks a lot for listening. And until next time. If you haven't already... Hit that subscribe button so you'll know when our next video is released. Also, check out our playlists where you can find videos by topics like Mildex or Cheap EX Decks.